Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is Thursday, October 7, 2021. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report. I want to start today with something a little bit different. Let me see if I can get in here to better explain to some of you guys what is going on and what may go on. This is our time spiral we've had. Check it out. September 2nd, 2020. You can see how this has worked. It's, it continues to work to over a year. But I want to point something out. See the 55-day spiral here? The target date was 1027. By the way, it's exactly a year after or before our 9 to 2021. And then the actual at 1030. Let me take you guys to that period of time. Do I have it here? Yes. This is a daily chart of the S&P. Here is the 9 to 2020 high. This is an A, B, C. You could label it however you want, but that is the correction. And this is the extent of the move. It missed by three days. It bottomed on October 30th. But like I've been saying, that the lows typically happen near or at or around or within a day or two, in this case three days, of the 55 days from the all-time high. Was this a crash? No. Was it a low? Yes. The market is up from, what is that uh, price there, 32.39 to over 4,400. Okay, so while um, the turn date at the end of October of this year should mark a low, it could be a crash. There's no guarantee there will be a crash. If there is going to be a crash, that's the ideal time. But more than likely, it will mark a low. Let me see if I can measure that decline there. Uh, that we had from that high to that low. There was a lower low, but to me that's an ABC, but that was a decline of, well, a little bit more than that, 9.8, about 10%. Okay, so I wanted to point that out to you guys, okay? But um, things are setting up perfectly here. We're, now we're back in the year 2021. There is that September 2nd high. I've got a couple different counts here. Let's focus on the one in black. We have a one down, a two up, a three down, a four up. A five down and that is of sub minuet degree that five right there and this one is minute degree a larger degree of trend two larger degrees and we have a two up and then we have a one two three four five down again in that sub minuet degree making of one of a larger I'm gonna make that the same color so it doesn't uh, confuse anyone okay let me get into settings and make that black. I have a picture of this which is a little easier to see and understand. By the way, this uh, the second wave here retraced and that's it right there in the black. A 618 of that and we put this out this morning to subscribers about this 786 target which I'll get more into detail into that. Well, I'll show you guys right now. I'm getting all over. There's so much information to share here. I'm going all over the road here but uh, let me just show you guys what we put out pre-market open today before the market open. I'm up usually early 4 or 5 in the morning. There's our pre-market open, wave 2 up. It showed um, allowing for our targets, and there they were. Um, and that was the 50 and the 618. But the 786 target was at 44.25. And AC is a 1.618 multiple of A at 44.35, okay? Two cannot go above 44.65. We put that out, always remain in sell rally mode. So there's our 44.25 and 35. And where did the market go? Right here, 44.29.97, right in between those two targets. And then it started to sell off, okay? So that's the exciting thing. And here's the other thing. Uh, we had a 9.6, uh, uh, what do you call it, Fibonacci turn date. This is 9.7. You can see the gap open there. And that happened, uh, let me get into my, I think I might have the one minute here. Yeah, that happened at exactly 10.22. So if the 10.6 target date missed, it missed by 58 minutes because that's how many minutes it was open today and then it started selling off. And you can see here what we had is a one, two, three, four, five. That's a 
big indication of what is going on if that's going to reject there. Let me get a little extension here to see how these played out. There is the one down. This is a one minute chart. I love to look at these one minute charts. There's three is almost a 2.618. You can see there it's a one, two, three, four, five. Let me go ahead and label that for you guys. I'll put that maybe in a different color. I already have the smallest degree of trend, but you can see where this third wave is subdividing or extending in within itself. Let me make this a, that smaller degree, the minuscule degree, and let's change that uh, color so you can see it a little better. Let's make that red, even though it says the same degree, it's not. Um, so you have a one, two, and then we have a one, two, three, four, five for three. Let me move that five up so it's not in the way. There we go. And there is the three, the four, and the five. And then look what it did here. And to get on there, and five came within a point or right on being equal, a 1.618 of one. So this thing looks like it has reverse trend within the first hour of trading, the day after our ideal Fibonacci turn date of September I'm sorry, October 6th on October 7th, okay? So this is the wave count here. Um, this is the primary count in black. Okay, we have the uh, alternate count in red. And that's why that was red, because that's the larger wave, okay? My apologies. Let me move that back into the alternate count. Again, I have a picture of this. I'll show you guys in a minute. Okay, but um, here is our... Uh, I'll do the alternate count, okay? By the way, in the alternate count, I'll put this in there. The alternate count labels this as one, okay? So where can two go? Here, this is for the smaller wave here, one, two, that's 786, okay? That's just my own notes, okay? So uh, here is the 618 for the huge one down here, and there is the 786, okay? And then we've got this here, this ABC. Let me remove this and show you guys what I put out to our our paying monthly subscribers to our newsletter this morning, which I saw before the open and let everyone know, hey, we got this target here. Let's look at it. And there is the A down, up. There is the B down. And there is the C up. Bang, right there. Okay, so that's where it was uh an A C is 1.618, and that's where it split the difference between the 44, 40, that might be off by one, and the 30, um, it was a 25 and 35, something like that. It went right in between at 29. Okay, that might be off by a little bit. Let's get into that. Um, oh, before we do that, um, let me see here. We want to make sure we cover this. Here's our subscription services we offer, and I want to also show you guys our disclaimer and our awards over the years there we go here timer digest all that good stuff and also i want to thank you guys again for patronizing the channel subscribe hitting the reminder bell and the like button which is on strike uh we'll show <laughs> the the picture of the like button there i'll get that fixed one of these days okay such busy days all the time. But let's get into these pictures here, these uh, ones I made, okay? Um, I wanted to show you guys this too. We were looking for this thing to top on 10.6 as early as October 3rd. Actually, I put that out on October 1st too. We were looking for this thing to go down in five waves into that target uh, date area there on the Fibonacci time spiral and those prices there. So that's been uh, in effect for a while. I want to show you guys also... That was the one we showed you yesterday with the um, other alternate count. All right, here's the one I wanted to show you where I had the uh, hourly bar up, okay? The black is the primary count. There's one, two, three, four, five for one with the circle. Again, that's minute. There is two up, okay? And that is the 923 high of 44.65. Then we start a new five wave decline. One, two, three, four, five. And there is one of minuet degree that's with the parentheses around it there is two right at the 786 
That's where it split the difference at 29.97 between 44.35 and 25 that we alerted our subscribers to this morning, hours before the open. Okay, and this two here in parentheses, this cannot go above this 44.65. That will break this part of the count, the one down and the two up, and it'll move the alternate count into play, which labels this entire decline from the September 2nd high to the October 4th low as one. So this two up can go as high as, but not higher than 4545, okay? So there is the ideal Fibonacci target for two at 618 retrace at 44.43. I put something else in here for you guys, a bull market count, because everyone thinks the bull market's back. And that's the purpose of second waves. The second wave right here in parentheses is to convince everyone that the bull market is back, okay? So if this is the low, if this is over, let's say you want to count, there's so many counts. You can count this as an A down, a B up, and a C down into this October 4th low. Then you've got a one, see it in uh, purple there, then a two, you've got a three here. This decline would, would be a four in this count. This cannot go below the wave one high of 43.58. So as soon as it does, the bull count is negated. We had one up there a week or so ago, and that got negated, okay? As soon as this move up goes above 44.65 in black, then this one down in parentheses two up is negated and again it kicks in the alternate count which labels this whole decline as one and allows for a huge move up in two and wave two what they usually do is just shake everybody out scare all the bears out before they flush it down so take all the stops out wherever they are we'll see how that plays out but uh, it, very interesting times here but the thing that uh, seems like it's telling is what happened after that high was reached less than an hour, 58 minutes into the trading session. There's the one down, there's the two up, there's within wave three, it's in the, with the underlines, one down, two up, three down, four up, five down to make the larger wave three, and then a four, and then a five. And I showed you guys how five was a perfect Fibonacci 1.618. So that appears to be the initial decline of wave three of three, and possibly of three of three different degrees, but at least of two different degrees of trend. Okay, I think I have all that covered. Let me see, I got that one minute chart there. There's where I showed you wave four. Let's just do this real quick. And they like, you notice how they're moving things in the futures? It's like uh, the people who trade during the day um, can't get much uh, any either way, up or down. All the gains and all the losses are made and gapped up and down at the open okay so if they don't gap this down in futures overnight if it does go up you can see the 382 is 4409 50 percent is 4413 618 is 4417 there's the previous fourth wave of one lesser degree right in there with the 382 and the 500 that would be ideal i want to i don't like to use those unless they're necessary the 786 but sometimes they come in play Okay, we'll just do that and get rid of that. There are those three targets there. Okay, let me make sure we didn't miss anything. We did that, we did that, we did that, we did that, and we have our S&P. So, oh, that was back on September of last year. So again, um, 55 days is the uh, 27th. The other spiral, oh, I wanted to show, that's it. I wanted to show you guys uh, these spirals. I think I'm... Let's just go into this here, okay? By the way, uh, this was the post-market close report, and there is that that I put out. Showed the uh, primary, alternate, and bull counts. I already explained this to you guys. There's there's um, prices that, that give us validation and break the count. That's what they are. Um, that's what we're looking at. A turn in is the, 20, the 23rd is a Saturday. That's the turn date, so we're looking at 22 through 27 but um this spiral from the all-time high look at the slippage none 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 okay and then this one 52 minutes if that that high holds this morning at 10 22 a.m eastern okay then we're looking at 10 27 and then this uh spiral here 
and again, this one stands alone. This is the one, the first one I've ever done. I've been doing this since, what, 1999, these spirals from a low. I always did them before from a high, looking for the 55-day low. This one I did from a low just because. I have no idea why, but I did. And this one has one minute of slippage, and that's through July 26. And there's that next turn date, October 23rd. The market cannot turn on a Saturday, so it'll either pick the day before Friday or the trading day after Monday. We'll see how that goes. And we got the other spiral that points to the 26th. Is that the one up here? Right, 27th, my apologies, right there, okay? Those two spirals in conjunction. You can see this one here has a little bit of slippage. But look back at that 9-2 of 20. This one, that's been going on now for over a year. Uh, there's very little slippage. Come on, Dale, steady. <laughs> Very little slippage here at all. And this one has another turn date back, uh, not back, but up into May of next year. It'll be really interesting. There was some slippage here. But the two main ones are the one from the 3-4 low and the 9-2 all-time high. This one here, it's there's that's it's close to 100%. It's 99 with five nines and a 5-1-4% after it. And then if it goes and makes a turn, on this turn date, uh, I don't know what that percentage would be, but it's it's close to 100% without being 100%. And again, this one here, okay? We'll leave you guys with this. That shows everything, three different counts. We'll see where this goes. We'll see where this 1017, if that holds or not, and what this is doing right here. We should get a good idea tomorrow. Okay, thank you guys, and until next time, take care, everyone.